I had propped the mold onto a towel, a hand towel that I had folded into three layers. And as I poured, I would take one layer off and then another, and you'll see that in the video ahead. Also, I want to apologize real quick for the glare. Um, my lighting is not optimal. And if you'll notice in my soap, it does contain a lot of air bubbles, especially when I first begin to pour. By the time I get to the end of my pouring, it's not really so obvious. But I do believe I have a leak or going on in my submersible blender. Um, so if you, you'll notice, I'm pouring in three points, um, going from left to right. And I'm going for about a six second uh, pour for each one and I give it a little wiggle to kind of mimic the clamshell look or even the tornado look is how I think it looks like and here I go I'm f unfolding the towel so it's still slanted but not as slanted and some of the mo soap would move um, further on down the mold. My soap is getting to the top as I'm pouring, so I'm going to lower my towel for the second time. Um, it's still slightly slanted. And you'll notice that the air bubbles are not nearly as bad. <clears throat> just about finished pouring and I'm going to let my soap gel and it is the next day and my soap did gel and I got very hot I generally don't make soap in such small batches or in silicone molds so it did get the silicone rash because it was overheated but not to worry I'm going to be trimming that all off a very pockmarked soap there at the end <laughs> 